History of Russia in 100 Minutes by Smart Histories. Gorbachev's Perestroika. When Mikhail Gorbachev assumed power in 1985, his goal was to bring the Soviet Union out of its economic and political deadlock while still preserving socialism. Instead, he unintentionally ignited the process that led to the collapse of the whole Soviet system. Background. Mikhail Gorbachev was only 54 when he was elected General Secretary in March 1985. He brought fresh air and new thinking to the party. Perestroika and Glasnost. The Soviet model of a planned economy had completely fallen into crisis, and Gorbachev was determined to launch large-scale reform campaigns. Perestroika, restructuring, and Glasnost, openness. Foreign policy. New economic reforms demanded funds, and Russia could no longer keep up with the United States in the global arms race. Gorbachev proposed to end the arms race and establish warmer diplomatic relations. For this, he repeatedly met with President Ronald Reagan, and relations did, indeed, relax. He ended the Afghan war and began pulling Soviet troops out of Eastern Europe. On the 9th of November 1989, the Berlin Wall was taken down by the public during a mass demonstration. Meanwhile, other Eastern Bloc states also became democracies, which Gorbachev could not help but accept. Political reforms. In 1989, Gorbachev's reforms introduced presidential power and the first free elections in Russia in 72 years. The newly elected Congress of People's Deputies assembled for the first time on the 25th of May 1989. Rebellions. But Gorbachev's economic reforms did not work, and the living standard of people worsened. In many Soviet republics, the struggle for autonomy and then for independence gathered momentum. Moscow sent tanks to put down popular movements, but it was already too late. It became more and more evident that the Soviet Union was in itself a relic of the past. Gorbachev was juggling between the reformists and the reactionaries, and he was preparing the new Union Treaty to save the empire. Meanwhile, the importance of the Russian Soviet Federative Republic and its president, Boris Yeltsin, was growing. Collapse of the Soviet Union on the 19th of August 1991, the August Putsch began. The reactionary group, led by Vladimir Krichkov, Dmitry Yazov, and Gennady Yonayev, locked Gorbachev in his Crimean estate and tried to establish power under the State Committee on the State of Emergency. Tanks were sent to Moscow, but people blocked their way, and Boris Yeltsin took control. On his return, Gorbachev lost most of his authority to Yeltsin. On the 8th of December 1991, Boris Yeltsin, Leonid Kravchuk of Ukraine, and Stanislav Shushkevich of Belarus signed the Creation Treaty of the Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS. Without informing Gorbachev beforehand, the Soviet Union was officially dissolved on the 26th of December 1991. Thank you for watching. For thousands of helpful resources of Russian history, please visit our website at smarthistories.com.